Do you smell your floss after you floss? Do you know what the back of your mouth smells like? Because when you smell it, that's what the back of your mouth smells like. Hey y'all, it's Alicia Lynn, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my oral hygiene routine. When I tell y'all it's more than brushing for 30 seconds, 45 seconds singing ABCs twice, it's more than that. And I'm here to share that information with y'all. I remember going to the dentist as a kid and they're like, do you floss? And I'd be like, no. And they'd be like, you should floss. They tell you to floss because it's so much build up and gook if you don't. If you don't floss. Okay, anyway, we're going to get right into the video. I'm going to tell you guys my step-by-step -step routine so you guys can learn. And, you know, even if you do know, just get new ideas for a new routine or something that you're doing, not doing, that you might be interested in doing. So, we better get right into it. The first thing I do in my oral hygiene routine is brush my teeth. So... I have my toothbrush, my Arm & Hammer, Clean Mint, Advanced White, Extreme Whitening, Stain Defense, Low Abrasion, Neutralizes Acid, Arm & Hammer, the standard of purity. Okay, this is the one I use. It doesn't really have a great taste. I'm not even gonna lie, I hate the taste of like basically all toothpaste. Toothpaste. Basically all toothpaste, I hate, hate, hate the taste of it. It makes me want to gag. Oh my God, it's disgusting. But this one is pretty nasty. I'm not going to lie. It don't taste like mint for real. It does kind of taste like baking soda. But baking soda is a really good cleaning agent. You can use it on your clothes um, to clean you can use it for your teeth. This is actually what they used to use back in the day, used baking soda. Preferably use the mint flavors though. You know, they have like spearmint, cool mint. Use a mint flavor. This is a mint flavor. This is clean mint. Then I have this bamboo toothbrush that I got from Walmart. I just switched to bamboo tooth toothbrushes because I wanted to try it out. Um, and you know, saving the earth and stuff using less plastic. I will say this one is a little bit more firm. Like, it's very firm. You know how after a while when you use a regular toothbrush, it will like start to loosen up and get all flat and stuff. Yeah, this one, no, this one is really firm. Yeah, get you one of these. The first step is brushing your teeth. That's the first step. That's not the only step. That's the first step of your dental hygiene, your oral hygiene. So, after I brush my teeth, I always brush my teeth twice. So I'll go, mm. get back there, get back there, get up there, and I do it again. So I do that twice because one, one. One little ding da ding, one little mm mm, mm do, 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 do. That's not enough. I'm telling you, I'm telling you for real. So, the way that I brush my teeth is I always start off in the front. So, I do it circles in the front. I go to the side, go to the side, and I go to the back, and I open my mouth, and I get the back, the very back, the very, very back, back here where your wisdom teeth is at. Yeah, yeah, get back, back, back. Make sure I get on top, on the side. Um, and I do it all four sides. I do it just like on the top, get the sides. Um, and then I go right here, the gum part right here. I get right there too. Um, I get the top. Um, the gums on the top, like the textured part, and I get the tongue. And I go on the tongue this way and this way. And I go back as far as I can because the bacteria honestly is far back in there. Like it's back there, like back there. So 
that's how I brush my teeth. That's the first step to your oral hygiene routine every morning. So step number two, after I do that, I go in with my stainless steel tongue scraper. The reason you want to go in with a tongue scraper is because basically when you brush your teeth, all you're really doing is mixing it up in there, mixing up that, that bacteria. You just mixing it around and then you, you know, it doesn't get all of it. So what this does is you basically put it in your tongue and then you go down and it basically you get back as far as you can. I go back as far as I can and you just scrape it out. Whatever is on your tongue, you scrape it off. And sometimes I do have stuff that comes off. Like, trust me y'all, for real. Like, this is an important step. Sometimes it's stuff that comes off. Um, even after you brush your teeth, if you scrape your tongue, it's stuff that comes off. And I always use warm water when I'm doing this. Yeah, I do that about maybe 10 times. Yeah. I do that about 10 times with like medium pressure, not too hard. Um, if you do it too hard, I've experienced this. If you do it too hard, your mouth, your tongue will hurt. Like if you brush too hard, it's gonna hurt. Like, so don't go too, don't go too hand with it. You know what I'm saying? But this is definitely, definitely a staple. Like you need this. I got this off of Amazon. But I know they sell them at Walmart, CVS. You can basically get this from like anywhere, like Walgreens, all that. So yeah, that is the second step. So now we're going to the third step. So what I do next is I always go in with a mouthwash. This one's almost gone. I need to get some more. That I got the zero alcohol, the, the alcohol-free one. Just regular Listerine. I got the alcohol-free one. So I got the alcohol-free one because. I personally cannot handle the regular ones. This one, I can hold in my mouth for like a minute, but regular Listerine is way too strong. Like, I don't know how people hold it in their mouth for a long time, but yeah. So basically what I do is I take almost a mouthful and I just like swish it around, swish it around, swish it around, move it in the back move it in the front and I, I tilt my head back and I gargle. The reason you wanna gargle with this is because like I said, bacteria is in the back of your throat for real. Like it's in the back, the back back. So this just makes sure you wash out everything. And you can do this twice. I do it once, but I have all of these steps. It's like, I, I don't know. But you could do this twice. I rinse and then I go to the next step. So one of the most underrated things in oral hygiene, which is very, very, very important, is flossing. I floss. I don't floss every day, but I should. I try to floss almost every day. So I don't use the, the floss that you do like that. I use this kind of floss. And I use this. So basically, I'll start in the back i'm gonna tell y'all a little bit tmi y'all i'm gonna tell you a little tmi tmi okay so when i was younger my sister told me to that she like smells her flaws or something and i was like that's weird but she's like no like take flaws you know go to the very back of your mouth the last two in between and just go like that and smell it we gotta get comfortable with smelling our body with smelling our body parts you should be doing stuff like that every day when i go to the bathroom i smell i i, I need to know what's going on down there i'm sorry so that's just one of the things that i do and i'm i'm not ashamed i it's a little embarrassing but i feel like we all should care this much anyway so i always when i go to the back of my mouth I go in, I always use maybe like two flosses. So I use one for this side, one for that side. Um, and I'll go in, go in real good. Like, yeah, in the back teeth. And I'll, I honestly, I, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I smell it. And if it doesn't smell, after you brush your teeth and, 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 and uh, use that, it shouldn't smell like anything. But um, if it does, 
I'll go in again with floss. Go once again. And I'll keep doing it until I don't smell anything. So the reason you want to floss is because no matter how good you think you brush your teeth, it's still stuff in the back of your mouth. Like it might not even be in the back of your mouth. It could be up here. It could it could be down there. It could be in there. <laughs> but it's never all gone and until you floss. Until you rinse your mouth and you floss. So I go um here I, I do pay attention to the front as well but the back is like really important so yeah so i'll just take the floss and go back there and go through about two smell it and then be like okay it's not right or it is right then i'm good do you smell your floss after you floss do you know what the back of your mouth smells like? Because when you smell it, that's what the back of your mouth smells like. I'm just saying. So the very last step to my oral hygiene routine is I have a water pick. And I got this from Walmart for like $40. And this is from Smile Direct Club. And basically, you press this button and it sh you put water in it. You press this button and it shoots water. So you know how in the dentist, they'll have that in the back of your mouth? That's to wash everything out. So I go in the back of my mouth and I'll go around the back of my teeth and just go through each tooth. This is very powerful. Like this has a lot of power to it. So make sure you're being careful when you use this. It will splash. The first time I used it, I wasn't expecting the power that it had. So I put it on, uh, I put it on normal, I think. And it has settings, so normal, soft, and pulse. I put it on normal. And it shot like so hard that it came on my nose. Yeah, like for real, this day is strong. So I got the mini one. They have bigger ones. This is the mini one. It's like compact. You could travel with it or whatever. Yeah, so let me see if there's any water in here. I don't think it's any. Yep, it was water in there. It's a little bit though, but I don't know if y'all saw that, but it went on my uh, my wall. But I'm gonna get that, it's okay. So yeah, um, it's very important. This kind of washes out whatever you were smelling on your floss. This gonna wash it out because mouthwash is, is you swishing it around. It's not, it's not putting that force on it that it needs to like get it out, so. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, this stuff is is really needed. I'm pretty sure it's a lot more you can do um, with making sure that your mouth is clean. But this is my routine and it works for me and I am always trying to learn more. So if you have any suggestions, any suggestions, let me know if there's something that you do or if you do any of this stuff that I just showed y'all, let me know, whatever. And yeah, so I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, make sure you thumbs up. Tell your friends on my channel. And I will see you in the next video, girl. Bye.